What's up guys? It's your boy Charm City Gamer here back with more Dragon Age Origins. And before we get started, I have some things I need to get off my chest because Oh well, quite frankly I'm a little agitated with some of you. Let me address this right off the bat. Dragon Age is not the only game I play on this channel. So when I post a new video of a different game, if you guys are looking for Dragon Age, please don't just go into the comments saying, where's the new video of Dragon Age? I don't have a gaming PC yet, and I can't just, I can't just render them and make them appear by magic. It takes time for me to obviously make the video and to render it, and of course post it to YouTube. If I decide to post a game, a video of another game, Please respect that, and don't just dislike the video out of pity, that, out of out of pettiness, rather. That's just beyond immature, and I don't really care for that. Because I spent a long time making that Jurassic World Evolution 2 video, and I don't appreciate the fact that people that are supposedly sub to me, who only give a shit if a Dragon Age video goes up, dislike it because it was a Dragon Age, because it wasn't a Dragon Age video. That just makes you look like immature children. Now. As far as Bailey, we um, we went through and recreated her a third time. That's the last time, hopefully. And I will show you everything you need to know. Back to in Ostagar. I recreated her because I made a mistake on one of the skills. I actually got a two-handed skill and I didn't want it. But anyway, here's everything we got equipped. And all that. Goose and guard shield, all that junk. Character record at level three. Here's our attributes. Resistances, etc., etc. I'll shuffle through that and show you. Health, armor, damage, fatigue. Here's our skills. We got passive coercion. We got all the combat training except for master. And for talents, we got passive or powerful rather. Precise striking. We use what I had done in the last times was dual weapon training. I didn't want that, so I took that out. That's why we made her. We got shield dash and shield pummel. And we also have shield block, which is passive. Anyway, those are our stuff. And I just had to get I had to get that thing about about the prior videos off my chest. Dragon Age videos will come, but please, I beg of you, don't you know, dislike my videos just because it's not a Dragon Age video. I run many games on my channel, and I don't appreciate that. That people would just come and dislike it simply because it's not a Dragon Age video. I'm not a dancing monkey for your amusement, people. I make these videos because they're fun, but if you guys are just gonna constantly badger me for Dragon Age videos, I may just stop the series altogether. So don't do that. Anyways, we'll be back with the actual gameplay in just a moment. I had to get that off my chest first. Okay, here we go. One of my buddies advised me not to put that little rant I gave in the start of the video in the video, but, eh. I feel it's something that needs to be heard because, you know, <coughs> I feel like I was disrespected. Anyway, let's get started. Now, as I've said, I'm playing this game completely blind, so I literally have nowhere, no idea where to go, so let's just explore around here, I guess. I said I'm free to explore wherever I want, just don't leave it. I guess let's go back this way. Make her watch over you, my lady. Well, thanks, I guess. I appreciate that from you. I legit have no idea where I'm going or what the hell I'm doing here, so... <laughs> of course, intuition skill. Always something, isn't there? Looks like it's in rough shape, I'll tell you that much. Okay, I apparently missed some things while I was traveling out there. Grab these. There's nothing else around here. Got the 
route. Yeah, it's everything I can actually acquire here, I think. Yeah. Alright, one moment. Alright, since we have nowhere else to go, let's just go forward since we've collected everything we can here. Oh, and this purse right here, you can't actually fall off the edge. Watch. You can walk to the edge, but the game has a collision thing that prevents. It has in game collision that prevents you from going off the edge. Which is good for us novice players like myself, because you can't actually take a misstep and fall to your death. Like, say you were a novice at a game, you could actually take a misstep right here, and you might think, oh god, I'm gonna fall to my death. Well, no, the game has preventative measures for that. So we're okay. Hey, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. Indeed I am. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Tell me about our there, shall ya? Used to be a fortress long time ago, so I understand. Back in the days when the Wilders used to invade the lowlands. You were just on the eastern side of the ruin. The Tower of Ishal is there, but Tern Loghain's closed it off until the battle. This side is the King's Camp. We've got the Grey Wardens here, the Circle of Magi, the Chantry, you can't swing a dead cat without hitting somebody important. I hear dogs barking? I know I hear dogs barking. This is Ferelden, isn't it? The king has his kennels on the west side of camp. Stinks from all the hounds. These aren't cute puppies, though. Some of those dogs bite the dark spawn and get too much of that blood in them. It's like poison. Slow, painful death. Terrible. Circle of magic, is it? A few mages, yes. They even brought those creepy quiet fellows, the Tranquil. Gives me the shivers when they talk, all cold and even. They're to the north of here, bunched up with a herd of Templars glaring at them. Can't miss it. Okay, we're, um, anywhere to get supplies? Quartermaster, he's just a bit to the northwest. And where would our fair king be staying? Probably in his tent. He and Tern Loghain are on the southwest side of the camp. The king likes to spend time with his soldiers, though. Sometimes even without his bodyguard. Drives Tern Loghain wild, that does. I can understand that. Go on, then. And where would Duncan's tent be? Not far. It's straight ahead, just past the royal encampment. All right. Most of your fellows are in the valley with the army, but the recruits seem to be staying up here for now. And last but not least, I'm looking for a Grey Warden named Alistair, thank you. Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the Mages. Thank you for all your information. I appreciate that. Good luck to you, then. Good luck to you as well. Somewhere I can direct you? Nah, we're good. Good luck to you, then. Okay, that's basically the same thing. Okay, so that's finally done after about eight takes, because the damn stream would fuck up in the middle of its speeches, and I wanted to get proper stuff for you guys. I know how you guys are like, why is the audio messed up? Yada yada. So I got that straight. Hold on. One second. Okay, we've done all the talking to that soldier, so let's move ahead, shall we? Looks like we have two options, to the left or to the right. Let's go to the right first. And why did the music get all dramatic? What's going on here? And why does it look like the mages are swaying over there? What's happening? I guess they're mages. I'm not sure what they are. I'm sorry, but the mages must not be interrupted. Okay, why is that? The mages must not be interrupted. Their spirits are in the Fade. Fade? What's that? Yeah, what's the Fade? I don't know what that is. 
The Fade is the realm of dreams and the land of the dead, or so the mages tell us. Regardless, they are not to be disturbed, not even by Grey Wardens. Very well. Hail to you. I guess I have to go to the left then. We stand here in this hour, good folk of Ferelda, and we contemplate the death that may await. Death is no failure, my friends. Should it find you, you will not have failed your king. You will have served your maker. Die in this battle, and when you stand before the maker in the land beyond the fade, he shall not find you wanting. Go not into death gladly, but with the knowledge that evil has been held at bay by your spilled blood. And if you go to stand beside the maker, go with our blessing, for you shall not be forgotten. My friends, let us bow our heads and remember those who have fallen and those who have yet to fall. I'll, I'll talk to them in a minute. Where'd it go? Actually, one second. Alright, as it were. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. I suppose I do, though he's spending most of his time with the Grey Wardens. He rides with them wherever they go, in fact. Terran Loghain sees the King whenever he can and argues with him over coming battles, but the King just waves him off. The King wants to end the Blight with a single huge battle the Bards will sing of for centuries. Do you think that's possible? That's how the Terran feels. He'll do what the King wants in the end, though. The King thought it was funny that Terran called him reckless and they fought about the Queen. She's the Terran's daughter. He wasn't happy about something she did or the King did, I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't discuss it. As you wish. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. You know where he is? I believe he's with the Grey Wardens in camp, drinking. He holds them in high regard, you know, as his father did. As you wish. All right, wherever they were. Um, I guess... I guess we'll go over where, where that clerk was, because I'm curious as to what's happening over there. Go ahead back the other way. Maker above, hear the prayers of your sons and daughters. We who betrayed your father. Do not abandon us in our darkest hour. Watch over the valiant King Kalen and guide him as he faces this terrible evil. Watch over Terran Loghain and give him the wisdom to bring us victory against the Scourge of Shadow. Watch over Ferelde, the homeland of Holy Andraste. Her people safe from the Darkspawn. Let us bow our heads and offer prayers to the Maker, that he might find us worthy. I do not have time to speak at present, thank you. Alright then. Let's talk to the soldiers. Hail, Grey Warden. Shh, I'm trying to listen. How do you do? If you'd excuse me, we are praying. Those guys are useless, then. And you. Alright, now that that's out of the way, let's chat with this woman here. Wait. Greetings, young lady. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynn, one of the mages summoned by the king. Please meet you, I'm Bailey. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Not precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not the mages. Still, we have our parts to play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Some. Do you? Do you know about the connection between them and the Fade, for example? No, the Fade is where you go when you dream, that's it. 
Any time your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. What's the Black City? Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Devinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. Gentry says a whole lot of things. <clears throat> it may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill every dark spawn that I see. A wise attitude. It's worked well for me in the past. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Most likely. Back again? Don't the Grey Wardens need you? Off you go. I have preparations to make for the battle and I won't be distracted. The mages must not be interrupted. Ah, oh, they're still in the fade. Okay, whatever. Soldiers of Ferelden, my sisters and gentle folk, we stand here on the eve of battle. Let us consider. Well met. Well met. You approach the tent of Tern Logain. State your business. <laughs> How can you not know of Loghain? He helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. King Marek rewarded him by making him a Tern. Can you imagine? A commoner became a high nobleman just like that. Without Loghain, you can bet the King wouldn't be winning against these Darkspawn. He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. Surely you can tell me a little bit about the Terran, can't you? I suppose, as long as we talk quietly. He and the King have been arguing for days. The Terran's known the King since he was swaddled, so they don't stand on ceremony. The Terran speaks his mind, and the King yells right back. Personally, I think the King should do what Terran Logan tells him. Without the Terran, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. Yeah, I agree on that. Well, not not on the whole listen fun thing, but I agree he would. he's actually a help. Very well. One second. One second, people. I'd like a bit of an audience with him, if you don't mind. Hmm. I suppose you have a message for him. Hold on, then. Yes, what is it? Oh, you're Duncan's new Grey Warden, I assume. Yeah, but how did you know that? His Majesty could not contain his excitement after your meeting. How could I not hear about you? Kalen's fascination with the Wardens goes beyond the ordinary. Are you aware his father brought your order back to Ferelden? I have heard that, yes. Marek respected the Grey Wardens. They have an honored place in the hearts of our people. But Marek would have understood that it takes more than legends to win a battle. That's not an argument I'll repeat here. You look familiar. Have I seen you at the lands meet? The king told me of his promise. I'm certain he has every intention of following it through. I don't suppose you'll be riding into the thick of battle with the rest of your fellows, will you? I hope so. Here for the glory, huh? Fair enough. Now I must return to my task. Pray that our king proves amenable to wisdom, if you're the praying sort. He is Marek's son, and the leader of my beloved Ferelden, and a very young man. I try to keep that in mind, as should you. Well, that was a thing. Now I can save this.
And just one moment. I don't want to check something out here. Hold on. All right, let's see here. Where where else can we go? We're not worried about, we're not worried about Duncan right now. Excuse me, I must get the hounds ready for battle. Half the dogs are sick from dark spawn blood. It's terrible. Excuse me, I must get the hounds ready for battle. Half the dogs are sick from dark spawn blood. You there, Elf. What's your name? Ah, uh, it, it, it's Pickens. We must see to our hounds. Go to an ash warrior. The, the hound is as much ready to begin scouting. We are so prepared if we find battle. anything amiss. This is a solid time. How do you do? Well met. Hail. You're one of Duncan's new recruits, correct? I can't let you through to the Korkari Wilds until he gives the word. Sorry, I have my orders. Alright then, I guess I gotta go find that Alice today. I can't feel it. It hurts so much. You may not want to remain here long, Warden. Most of these men have been tainted by the Darkspawn blood. You... you need to convince them. We've got to run. The Darkspawn are coming. I saw them. We're gonna die. I apologize, Warden. He's been like this ever since they found him in the wilds. What's wrong with him? The commander who brought him here didn't seem to think so. You... You can feel it, can't you? They taint the land, turn it black and sick. Oh, you can feel it inside. They'll come out of that forest and spread. Like caterpillars covering a tree. They'll swallow us whole. Uh, that's quite enough out of you. You need to calm yourself, my good man. They were everywhere. I saw them. That's way right in the head. In the name of Andraste, I bless you today. May you find favor in the Maker's eyes. So let it be. Ah, I suspect you are one of the new Grey Wardens. Will you accept the Maker's blessing? Of course. Then I bless you, Grey Warden, in the name of Andraste and the Maker above. May the chant of light carry your name to the ears of our Lord. Thanks. Hey. So, any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle? Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some dark spawn spear this time tomorrow. Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, carrying a suit of chain. Blast it. Where did she go? That suit better be patched up when she gets back or by the maker up. No. Oh. Pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Of course I did. Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the King's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. <laughs> so long as you keep it quiet. Dude, I ain't got it. I ain't got anywhere near enough money to buy any of this stuff.
Oh, he's just pulling arrows and stuff. Anything, anything good I can do. Okay, this is actually... This is actually weaker than what I have. So nothing here he has any use to me. Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Let me know what you'd like. Yeah, my sword's better. My sword is much better. My shield's better too, so... I'm not gonna bother you. You're basically a waste of space. <laughs> okay, now I gotta find this out. Let me go... Let me go looking and I'll find him. Hold on. One moment. Okay, turns out our guy isn't too far from here. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the Revered Mother, Sir Maid. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens, by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. You're not the first woman to tell me that. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. No, I'm a... I'm not a mage. We haven't met. And that makes you Duncan's new recruit, I suppose. Glad to meet you. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Right, that was the name. You know, it just occurred to me that there have never been many women in the Grey Wardens. I wonder why that is. Would that be so terrible? Not that I'm some drooling lecher or anything. Please stop looking at me like that. So I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? No, I have not, actually. When I fought my first one, I wasn't prepared for how monstrous it was. I can't say I'm looking forward to encountering another. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. Davith and Sir Jory are here in the camp. Have you met them? Keep an eye out, maybe we'll see one of them. With the mage. The Circle is here at the King's request, and the Chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are, which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. You don't know? Quick version, then. The Chantry tries to control mages because they're dangerous, so they keep Templars that train to hunt down and kill apostates. That's what I was being trained as when Duncan recruited me six months ago. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger, and the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently they didn't get the same speech. I would guess not. Don't worry, I'll try not to embarrass you. You do? Huh. That's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. All right, we'll do then. And we will officially join the Grey Wardens in the next video. Till next time, you'll know what to do. Follow me on Twitter, at SpiderQueen here, and of course, sub me on YouTube, at Charm City Gamer. And remember for what I said at the beginning of the video, when I post other game series, 
just respect that. I'm not here to just post Dragon Age videos. Anyways, till next time, peace out.